What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It is White Gamer. Today, we're going to be talking about the new holiday patch that is dropping this week. We should get it latest by December 8th. So, the first thing you'll notice when you update the game is the menu. They completely changed the menu a little bit. So, for the month of December, the menu will be snowing. Still will be the same players that will be wearing their winter kits, but with snow, which gives the game a little new newer feel to it, if you would say. And then in the month of January, the menu will be a raining menu with the same players on the screen. So that's the first thing you will notice right away when you enter EAFC 24 when you do the update. Now, let's get to the gameplays, guys. There's a lot of things to talk about the gameplay that's coming out in this latest update. The first and foremost is the Power Header and Power Header Plus have been nerfed. So if you've been struggling with headers, you might struggle even more now because they're going to reduce the accuracy of Power Header and Power Header Plus. Now, to score headers and have higher chances of scoring header, Power Header and Power Header Plus are still going to be the way to go. But they're just going to reduce the accuracy of it, which I guess they're trying to make it a little bit more realistic from uh, the angles that you can score headers and whatnot. The next play style that got reduced is the finesse shot plus and the regular finesse shot, which I'm kind of glad this did because this one was probably the most broken play style so far this year because of the angles and the distance of finesse shots that you can score. This made it very difficult for AI goalkeepers and human goalkeepers to save certain finesse shots. So yes, guys, the finesse shot actually is going to get nerfed in this latest update. Let me know what you guys think about this finesse shot being nerfed. Um, it might make it less uh, effective now, but again, the best way to score finesse shots are, sc are still going to be with a finesse shot plus and the finesse shot play styles. Now, if you use a five of the back formation or a three of the back formation before the update, the wing backs will track back very, very, very fast. There's a clip on it right now. I'm not even speeding up the clip. The wingbacks would track back really fast, the AI wingbacks. Now, once a new update drops, the wingback won't be tracking back as fast, which I personally like this because it made it very difficult to break down the five at the backs. Not so much the three at the backs, but mainly the five at the backs. It made it very difficult to break them down because the wingbacks would track so, so quick back to your teammates or to you when you had the ball. So... If you use a five at the back or a three at the back, the wing backs have gotten nerfed when they track back, which I personally like this. Again, guys, let me get your thoughts and your comments on all these uh, gameplay changes that we're talking about right now. The next thing is the goalkeeper movement. If you were that type of player that moved your goalkeeper, which you do that by holding down the RS stick, that's how you move the goalkeeper. Now, you can still move your goalkeeper, but it won't be as OP. It was OP if you knew how to do it with the perfect timing. So now what it will do is the goalkeeper will take a couple seconds, then move to the next spot. Before, you just move it right away, and the keeper would just move as soon as you did it, which I guess made it a little bit overpower. And now it takes a couple more seconds for the goalkeeper to get back to the final position of where he or she was at. So the goalkeeper movement speed got reduced a bit more now. So for those that move goalkeepers, there you go. I know when I'm playing clubs, my any or the captain of our team moves, usually moves the goalkeeper. It's going to be interesting to see how that's going to be changed once the actual patch comes out. Now, for new gen, EA also reduced the midfield congestion. So if you're a striker or left mid or right mid AI, they would usually congest the middle and put pressure in the mi middle. Now they took in that away. Although we'll do it way less, which is good, guys, because again, if you came up against uh, clubs that had AIs or even an ultimate team, sometimes a striker and the left mid and right mid would congest the middle and put pressure and would make it very difficult to break through a team through the middle. So once this new update comes, the strikers and the left mid and right mids won't be putting pressure in that middle, which is good because it'll give people different ways to attack instead of doing the same thing, going down the wings and crossing it or going down the wings and cutting back and looking for the extra pass. So this could be a good thing or a bad thing. All up to how you play and how you prefer your game play. But yeah, the midfield congestion has been reduced if you are a striker AI or left mid, right mid AI. Also, they did improve a couple of referees' logic when determining a red card advantage call. They got better at determining when to let the advantage play. 
And then they also determined an offside call following a deflection. So when the ball got deflected, sometimes they would call it an offside when it, was, it wasn't supposed to be an offside. So they did improve the referee logic a bit in that aspect. And guys, the only new thing we got for clubs is the playoffs would sometimes not register when you got a win or a loss or vice versa. If you got a win, it would register as a loss. I know a lot of people were having this issue last playoffs. The new playoff starts in about like nine, eight days, depending on when you're watching this video. But yes, playoff matches sometimes did not count correctly. That is being fixed. And that's the only thing that got fixed for clubs, which is kind of strange because I know there is more bugs out there than just that. But at least that playoff issue got fixed. But boys and girls, this was probably the biggest update we've gotten so far. They're calling it the holiday update title update number six. Let me know your thoughts and your opinions about this. It's going to be interesting to see how the finesse shot play style and the power header and just the five of the back works now after this new update. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time.